Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. The Hawkeye Disney Plus series is finally here, and with that, we're going to have several videos covering the various characters in the show and reviewing the first two episodes. The first character we're going to look at is Maya Lopez, also known as Echo. While the Hawkeye series will mainly focus on Clint Barton and Kate Bishop, Maya Lopez serves as one of the main antagonists. As a Native American of the Cheyenne Nation and someone who was born deaf, Echo adds to the diversity of the MCU, and we'll even have her own show coming to Disney Plus sometime in 2023 or 2024. We've already discussed that show quite a bit in the past, but thanks to a few new reports, we'll have some more to discuss very soon. Echo's initial power set is very similar to that of Taskmaster from the Black Widow movie. She has photographic reflexes, which means she can perfectly duplicate any physical movement she sees. Later in the comics, she encounters the Phoenix Force and gains a lot of other abilities such as flight, super strength, power kinesis, immortality, and more. While it would be a nice change of pace in the MCU to see Echo obtain the powers of the Phoenix Force instead of Jean Grey for a third time, even if that were to happen, it won't be for a long while. In the comics, Maya starts off as a bad guy before eventually coming around and even joining forces with various Avengers teams. We know Maya is working with the tracksuit Dracula's Mafia in the Hawkeye series, which is a slight change from the comics where she was originally working for Kingpin. There are rumors that Kingpin will show up as a cameo in Hawkeye, so it's possible Kingpin has directly ordered Echo to take lead over the tracksuit Dracula's Mafia. Echo is also the first Ronin in the comics before Hawkeye takes over the mantle. However, we already saw Hawkeye as Ronin in Avengers Endgame, and Kate Bishop dons the suit in the Hawkeye series, so it seems unlikely Echo will also wear the Ronin suit in the MCU, or at least not in the Hawkeye series. We don't know where Echo will be at the end of the Hawkeye series, but it's likely she'll still be an antagonist fighting against Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. Unconfirmed reports indicate that the Echo series will feature Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin and Charlie Cox's Daredevil as main characters. In the comics, Echo has a long history with both characters and would have fit in well with the Netflix Marvel shows. She becomes Matt Murdock's love interest after the death of Karen Page, so it would be interesting if we see Karen die soon after being introduced in the MCU, or if Marvel Studios will leave Karen out of the MCU and just run with Echo instead. Maya's father, William Lopez, is also featured in the Hawkeye series, although we don't yet know how he factors into the show. In the comics, Maya's father is Willie Lincoln, also known as Crazy Horse. Kingpin kills him, then raises Maya as his own daughter, and eventually pits her against Daredevil. It's possible that Kingpin's potential cameo in Hawkeye could involve the death of Maya's father, or they may keep him alive and save that part of Echo's story for her own series. In the comics, Echo is loosely tied to Secret Invasion, Moon Knight, Blade, and the Multiverse, which will all be big parts of the MCU over the next few years, not even taking into account her connection to the Phoenix Force, which is closely tied to the X-Men. We don't know where Echo will show up beyond Hawkeye and her own series, but she could easily end up being a main character in the MCU moving forward, and they could potentially try to work her into the Young Avengers, even though she's not a member of that team in the comics. With the Echo series coming in the future, and the possibility Echo will make another appearance before her own series, this likely won't be the last time we discuss the character in a video. Stay tuned to Nerd Doc, as we'll have more on the Hawkeye series and Echo in the future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with anyone who enjoys Marvel movies or Disney Plus series.